Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is JD and today we're doing another easy Minecraft tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to craft and use a cauldron. Now this is something that is a little more complex in bedrock. Uh, not a little more but it has a huge amount of functionality. In Java not as much but it is still useful. So let me show you how to craft a cauldron first. Very simple. All you need is iron ingots, like that. Now make sure you don't put just five, you, you get a minecart. In Java Edition, as well as Bedrock, the cauldron can contain water. So there we go, it's filled with water. That's all it can be filled with in Java, but it can be filled with many other things in uh, bedrock, but uh, you can get the water out with the bucket. Oh, now I have extra ones. Uh, you can also get water out with glass bottles. Now this is especially useful if you're in like a, a crafting, not crafting, but you're making uh, potions. You can fill one, two, three. It's empty now. So you can fill three water bottles with a cauldron. And that is about it for Java. Yeah, um, although I should mention that when it rains, a cauldron will slowly fill up. But it's, it's really slow. As for bedrock, now this is a lot more interesting. So let's put in the water. So first of all, let's take a look at... Ah, let's, let's make a few of these, huh? Oh. So let's put a few of these with water. And let's take some dyes. And let me just show you what happens here. So this is something that uh, Java users wish they th could do. You can dye the water. Now this looks great, right? But what purpose does this have? Well... Try this. Let's take a leather tunic. Ah, uh, what color would be good? How about green? There we go. We got a green leather tunic. Now you notice that the, the water level decreased. But you don't have to just do that. You can add some orange, or you could do purple, or you can do yellow. There we go. So you got it nice and mixed. Now can we mix colors? Yes, we can. You can mix colors. You can do whatever. Oh, that's gray. Let's put in some green there. A little purple there. <laughs> a little yellow there. Well, it's starting to look the same. So you can change the different dyes here. You can change how much. And look at that. Yeah, so you can make many, many different varieties of dyed leather. You can also do the opposite. So let's fill this up again. And... We'll take the leather tunic, and there we go. You wash off the dye. You can take a shulker shell, wash off the dye. Now this banner, this is a red banner, but it has a pattern on it. You see, what you do is <laughs> you get just a plain old red banner. Uh, you've washed off the yellow part. Of course, I should mention that these do generate all over the place in Minecraft. They will generate in villages, usually in leather workers. Uh, this is uh, actually a job lock for the leather worker. Also, you'll find these in witch huts. Uh, you could find them in mansions. And sometimes you'll find them filled with water, sometimes not. Another aspect of the cauldron that's unique to Bedrock Edition is it can be filled with potions. So if we put in night, uh, it's night vision. Let's put in a potion of leaping in this one. See, it even has the color. And potion of healing. So there we go. Red, green, blue. Uh -huh. um, so yeah, you can fill a water bottle or an empty bottle with these as well from here. But this is something else. You can make tipped arrows. As you can see, we have tipped arrow right here. Let's try this again. There we go. 
and we'll get another one right there. So we have it here. And I should mention that in uh, in Bedrock Edition, it tipping you can tip multiple arrows at once, of course, and it takes up a full cauldron when you use a full stack of arrows. So uh, I did use full stacks of arrows for these, so it used up all of the potions. This is more efficient than using the standard form, which is uh, using a crafting table and potion. You can get only eight arrows with one potion. For this, you can get a full stack for, with uh, three potions. I'd also like to mention that uh, this was brought to my attention by Survival Mike. Uh, he's another member of Adults Craft, so please check out his video in the cards in the top right hand corner. There's even more. Yes, again in Bedrock Edition, you can fill a cauldron with lava. Would you like the opposite? Before we take a look at that, I'll just let you know that lava in a cauldron emits a light level of 15 as well. Any mobs that are inside the cauldron with lava will be damaged. That includes zombified piglins who normally don't get damaged by lava. Now here's something that is very interesting. When you're in the nether, you can place a cauldron down and put water in it. And even hop inside and uh, if I can get in there, there we go. Now this is very useful if you're on fire. You actually have a source of water in the nether. Otherwise, like, nothing. It just evaporates immediately. The cauldron also has a redstone component. Now, if you use a comparator here, I'm just doing this very simply, showing you a line of redstone dust here. So we're just going to fill this in. Uh, if you fill it in one-third, you can see it lights up that redstone. Two-thirds lights up to there and full lights up to there so we get a signal strength of one two and three depending on how full the cauldron is it does not go any higher than that so i'll just repeat it here java has all of the basic water properties for the cauldron but nothing else bedrock we have lava we have dyes we have potions yeah, it's a lot more. It's a lot more useful in Bedrock Edition. Of course, uh, it does have the Leatherworker profession for both Bedrock and Java, but it's so much more useful in Bedrock, isn't it? I think uh, this is one case where the Java players are a little bit jealous. All right, so let me know how you like to use the Cauldron in Minecraft, either Java or Bedrock. And let me know in the comment section below. If you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in seeing some more easy Minecraft tutorials, then please consider subscribing. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.